So before we get started, make sure that in your popspec.yml file, you have this get package, which is also referred as getx. And then make sure at the top you import get package. And then we created a class, which is called getx. Now this is a stateful class. And over here, we created an object called connect. And this is coming from get connect. Now get connect itself is coming from our getx package. So we go ahead and create an object. And from this object, we'd be able to get get request and post request method. Here we created a method called send get request. And as you can see over here, we are using this connect object and from it, we get this get function or get method. And we are passing the URL. Now, JSON placeholder is a great API for testing get request and post, post request. Now, over here, we are going to get some post and save it in this variable, which is called response. Now, if you use getx, getx response.body will have the data that is being sent from the server. So inside this response object, we can get the body and then we'll be able to print that. Now with this, we are almost ready to make the get request. So over here inside the scaffold, we'll create an elevated button. This is our elevated button. We'll go ahead and run our simulator. And here we say this. And at the same time, we are going to see that whatever body we get from this API, we are going to print that. So I'm going to click on this and we'll see that we have data printed over here, which would be a response from this API. So we have gotten information like user ID one, ID one, title and body like that. Now the whole body itself contains this JSON format. So if you want to use that in the app itself, you can access them like over here using user ID, ID or title like that. But you get the idea. But for demonstration over here, we are going to do like this title. Okay, so we are just going to print the title of it. Let's save it. Okay, now let's go ahead and create the get request one more time. And as you can see, we just get the title. So whatever response you get, you can access them from this body property. So with this, we are done with the get request. Now we'll create a post request. Now for post request, we're going to create another method. And here we call it send post request. And once again, from this connect object, we get this post method. So if you hover over on it, you'll see that over here we have this URL. Actually, this refers to the endpoint as well as the base URL. And then we have this body. Now, these sections are optional, so we are not going to send this. So we are just going to send the body. Now, it's type of dynamic, which means that we can also wrap this information using this curly braces in a map format. Now our endpoint, this one, accepts this few properties. So that's why we are going to send this. So now we have this button, we have this function over here. And we are going to call this function from this elevated button over here. So let's go ahead and copy this and we'll put it right here. And we call it send post request. So now we are going to click on this. And as you can see, this method would get called. And after posting the data, it'll get us a response. And that response, we are going to print it over here. So let's click on this. Now, as you can see over here, this is the response we got back. Now, of course, this response once again in JSON format. Uh, over here, you see that we have sent title, body, and user ID. But it returns us back title, body, and ID as well, which we didn't submit, which means that it's working. But of course, this is the response that we get from this endpoint. 
if you use Node.js or Laravel or any other backend, whatever the response you get back from the API, it's all up to you. But if you use GetX, you have to remember that that response would be available inside this response dot body object. Okay, hopefully it makes sense. Well, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.